How's it going ladies and gents, Jerry's here with some more Samurai Warriors, Spirit of Sanada. And I can finally return to my gameplay, I had to take a few days break to study for two back-to-back -back exams. Uh, luckily I did well on them, so now uh, the semester's pretty much done. You know, I can get back to my channel and finish this game up before Warriors All-Stars comes out. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, pretty sure I'm going to finish this game pretty soon, maybe like in another week or two weeks. And then after that, I probably should get back to Dragon Quest Heroes 2 and Berserk. And just make that last until uh, until uh, Warriors All-Stars comes out in a, roughly a month. I think it comes out the ending of August. So, And I'm not even going to lie, I don't know what happened last episode. I've been so busy studying uh if i remember correctly we escaped from town from here and we went to uh to go see cha cha but we couldn't see her something more or less something like that i so let's find out what happens this uh episode see if they give me like a little overview uh lord yukimura では現在豊臣の中心となっているのはチャチャ様だというのか そう将軍にもなって、もはや明日ともに徳川の天下。だけど、豊臣は相変わらず別格だもんね。どうにかして潰しておかないと安心できないってのが家康の本音でしょう。恐かれ早かれ戦にはなるか。茶々様はどのように無論茶々様をお守りするため、長谷さん汁。兄上には申し訳ないな。だよね。正行様はどうなさるでしょう。近頃お体の具合があまり良くないみたいですけど。戦う理由がある限り、父上の心機が衰えることはあるまい。だが
Wow. Sasuke respecting the other. That's cool, man. That is actually all right. Has he? Did he ever call uh, Masayuki Lord Masayuki before? I don't even recall that. I don't think he's ever called anyone Lord. I'm shocked. Like this is the first time I've ever seen this. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure he's called Yukimura Lord Yukimura at some point. I, I believe so. It was really unexpected to call Naiki that, though. Uh, as you can see, I'm as fit as a fiddle. But if something were to happen, then I don't know. Alright. Mune Nori Yagyu. Ooh, watch out! <laughs> hey, you! I like this place. Very relaxing. I'd like to have a smoke. What? guy he knows what he's doing oh I wouldn't make a move if I were you I don't want to have to pull out my sword in a nice place like this what do you have me like in a hostage situation what's going on besides which I don't think I'm the one you should be worrying about hey Hanzo's here oh snap master Oh, ooh, Sasuke was the son of Hanzo's close friend who was killed in the Battle of Mikatagahara. Hanzo taught Sasuke the ways of the ninjutsu in order to enable him to survive on his own in the chaotic age that they lived in. It was the only thing that Hanzo felt he could do for him. Sasuke improved with training, but perhaps due to losing his father to war, he did not feel loyalty towards his lord. Understandable? Hopefully Sasuke would someday find a true master to serve. That was Hanzo's wish. Even even if it were to mean they would be fighting on opposite sides. That was an interesting read. Uh, but before, I don't think I'm the one you should be worried about. So, Munanori Yagyu. Let's take a look at uh, what kind of juice you, you got here for us. Um, what, what do you like? He's fond of his pipe and smoked it. He came ashamed of it later years. Hmm. Intelligence. Gathering activities. Smoking your pipe, huh? Let me see if I... I don't think I have anything. Maybe something here that helps to start a fire? Um... When I think of... A pipe, man, maybe a wood? Maybe he likes a straight stick so he can have more pipes? I don't know, dude. I'm gonna toss him a straight stick and just see what happens here. For me, thanks. Alright, he, he doesn't he didn't like that. Alright, so let's toss him a uh, shiny silver ore. I just had like a million of them, so. Um, I'm not gonna toss you a gem. Let's toss him a. a. Uh, a scallion. i running low, but. Alright. We already tossed him a flower, right? Was a straight stick is considered a flower. We tossed him a scallion. Let's toss him a mandarin. Dude, you gotta like something. He, he probably one of those dudes that likes the unknown items, right? Uh, jeez, I don't have a lot of killer fish, but if I wanted, oh wow, he likes fish. You want all this trouble for an old man like me? I'm welling up. Boom, and we have a lot of fish we could give him too. So, uh, from those little, those quests that we have done, let's give him three Kappa's plate, just to see what kind of ch oh, 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 that is nice, uh, let's give him, let's give him a kill of fish to finish it up, there we go, boom, boom shakalaka, what do we get, a dandelion, now you can accompany a sweet. We should be able to accompany Hanzo now. Well, what could Hanzo possibly be wanting uh, to do here with us anyway? I can't buy Munanori's weapon yet. Why? I have an obligation, Sasuke. Sure. Why Sanada Masayuki is here. Did you come to the attack? From the uh oh. 
家康様なんで真田正幸殿にお目通り願いたい取り次いでもらえようか It's about to happen. 家康殿これは一体すまぬな断りもせず押しかけて構わぬよ日がな書を読み畑を眺めるだけの毎日ゆえそれは豊かな日々であろうないつでも変わってやってよいぞ<笑><笑>お主は全く変わらぬな尾羽打ち、ね、ちからした姿を見たかったのであればご期待に添えず申し訳ないいやよいあの日のままのお主と一度話しておきたかったのだ死んだ者を言い訳にするなお主はわしにそう言ったなあれほど答えた言葉はないさようかだがいやゆえにこそわしは足を止めるわけにはいかなんだ幾千幾万の屍を踏み越えなお果たさねばならぬ大義があるその重みに耐えかねて足を止めれば全てが無駄死にとなるそれだけは断じてさせぬゆえにわしはやり遂げるのだ何としても好きにすればよいお前の覚悟にわしが口を出す言われはない同様に我ら真田の意地も変わることはないわしらの大切なものを踏みつけにせんとすればわしとわしのせがれが何度でも相手になろう父上おおそのこと夢忘れるな心しておこう邪魔をしたなわざわざのお運び恐れ入りますそう、no chill still。父上、夜風はお体に触りまする。うん父上が何のために戦ってこられたのかようやく分かったような気がいたします<笑>売り言葉に買い言葉よ<笑>真田を守るそれだけを考えておった真田をお前たちを大平だのもののふの意地だのさようなものと引き換えにできるほど我が手にあるものは安くはない父上されと同時に思うのだなぜあの時勝頼様と共に死ぬことができなかったのかといや違うなただ生きろと言ってやればよかったそのためにわしが力を尽くそうとそれゆえ関ヶ原では西軍に真田を守るその思いは信行が見事に引き継いでくれた真田は盤石のものとなろうはいだがお前には何も残してやれなんだ許せ父上何を仰せになる徳川を倒すという体毛を父上は残してくれたではありませんか
第十四章鑑賞慶長十九年家康はついに豊臣家を滅ぼす決意を固める豊臣方もまた関ヶ原で浪人となった武士たちを集め戦の用意を整えていた正行の静かな死をみとった雪村は父の残した思いを胸に大阪城へと舞い戻る相対するは徳川の精鋭その数は20万豊臣方の約2倍にも上った雪村は戦場にいかなる策を描こうというのかそう、正行は、ピースフォリー、which is。You know how great that must feel for Yuki Mura? Like it. I mean, of course, no one's happy that their father dies, but to die peacefully is the best way to go. Honestly, that's. If you're gonna die, die peacefully. That is. That is absolutely the best way. Now we are older. Oh, sweet. This is, a... This is gonna be cool. And then, even in his dying day, still telling Ieyasu, just know this you stand in our way, and me and my sons will, will stop you. And even, even, even then, still, this dude, he doesn't change, man. You gotta love Masayuki. We are a man of the world. I wonder what Lady Cha Cha is doing. Before we continue, I need to take a look. I love the cape. I love the addition of the cape. Look like a superhero now. Rocking similar armor or the same armor from before. Still cool, though. And the goatee really helps, man. He does look a lot older now. He looks so much different. Yukimura looks great. Sasuke still a baby. Do you really think you should just be wandering around like this? Don't you think you should go and pay your respects to Lady Cha Cha? Yes, you are right. And that I will. Everyone's cheering me on. They're like, yeah, Yukimura's here. Yeah. Even the walk looks cool because of the cape, man. Naiki, I'm glad you're still here. You intend to wage it. A great war against the Tokugawa here, Lord Yukimura. That's right, Naiki, and I will need your help. You must promise me that you will never think of cutting open your belly again. Of course, Lord Yukimura. I am a poor substitute. I will fight in place of my lord and do what I can to help you. Dude, give this dude a medal. Praise this man. Naiki's been here since the start. He hasn't left us. Look at the way he looks at me, man. Find yourself a lover that looks at you the way Naiki does. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. He's been happy for me forever, and he still looks at me like he's in love, dude. He just... He can't pass up people like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's uh, go to the wealthy merchant. Three medicines. I still have not created a single medicine for myself. This entire playthrough. Only for the, the side quest. Are you sure you don't want to go back to Yuki Shige? My master is Lord Masayuki. Now that he is gone, it is you, Lord Yuki Mura. I have no doubts. I see. Thank you for your devotion. Ah, oh, man. We gotta see how uh, much older Nobuyuki looks now. Terozumi. We must be grateful that the gods have seen fit to bring us together once more. Master Terozumi, I am glad to see you again. I'm so sorry about Lord Ukita. Yes, I must do what I can to avenge my lord's death. Very well. Um, who's over here? A townsperson. Ah, at least these guards, you know, the little nothing to report people are not talking to me anymore. Frightened man. You have to help us. A terrible woman has appeared. She's taking money from everyone she meets in the Iga Mountains in the name of a donation to her temple. Please, you have to do something. You have to stop her. 
Mysterious dancing girl. Oh, dancing girl. Who could that be? The woman is in the Eagle Mountains. Oh, please stop her. We'll have to check that out. Yeah, let's go to battle real fast. To the Eagle Mountains. In our in our new gear. Let's check it out, man. Let's see how battle looks in this new uh, this new gear, and then we'll continue on the story. Yukimura Sanada, ready for battle. Gundam fight, go! So, Iga Mountains. There we go. So, Runaway Ninja. What? Huh. We are gonna rock out. Cha cha. Take Sasuke. I need my double jump. Just in case. I actually don't remember. There is a double jump. There we go. Alright. Um, almost a B rank, boys. We are getting there. I gotta remember 277 damage. I think when it hits B rank, it should go up a little bit. It'd be nice. Uh, Mounts, Kimura, what are we packing? I'm the new lord. I get the new juice, baby. That's it. Kimura has, has grown. We are final. He's in his final form. At least for now, he's in his final form. Do I like using this? Well, in here it's pretty good. Maybe I'll equip the other one when I go to a regular mission. Yeah, I got the little uh, side mission stuff on. Let's begin. Let's look for the girl that dances. It may just be a diversion. Look at this, man. Look at this. On the new horse, man. We are... It looks good. Yukimura-sama. Or Yukimura-san? Oh. Low-ranked ninja. You want to die, low-ranked ninja? Oh, what the heck? I can do the ice effect on you from the horse, dude? Oh my god, I did not know my weapon's elements actually... I think that's a, a talent on this uh, on this horse, isn't it? Let me see. Um, I don't think I can check in here. Maybe in general? No. Well, whatever. We shall keep going. Get poked, little middle rank ninja. High rank ninja. Wow. So how high of a rank do you need to be before you get a name, like a real name? Oh, for that horse ninja. Uh. Where do we go first? This area is actually huge, dude. Let's go... Let's go this way first, right? Man, I forgot how enormous this place was. Ninja? Middle rank ninja. You guys are gonna help me get a B rank on my weapons. Let me go clear this real quick. Runaway Ninja. Hey, we found the Runaway Ninja, guys. That was our uh, first one of those. Sweet. That's just an exit. But there's still free items to collect. I'm kind of glad I came in here and found that Runaway Ninja. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, wow, you just can't kill, bro. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Let me get that kill. I think that was another low rank ninja that spawned. Yeah, it was, in fact, a low rank ninja. I think I'm gonna get... I got a feeling I'm gonna get a B rank at the end of this, dudes. Because we've been killing a few things. Another ninja should drop there. Doing pretty good here. Oh, there's a oh, female ninja. What? Female ninja? Oh! Alright, well. <laughs> Rest in peace, female ninja. Destroyed. High rank ninja. Wonder if we're running to a bear. Actually, it's been a long time since I've seen a bear, huh? Man, I love this place. Uh, 
Hey, speaking of the bear. Dang, dude. What up? It's eyeing you with caution. I gotta meet it a, a few more times. Let me get all these items here. Be faster, I just do this. No. A free couch there, man. One day we're gonna get the bear and we're gonna use it. I mean, it won't. Oh, was that a blue? Yeah. It won't look as cool as the uh, the panda, but you know, it took a while. It was not. It's not about looking cool, right? It's about how long it took us to befriend this thing. Let me get that kill sound too. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, I actually missed an item up here too. Wow, thank you. Alright, ninjas. Man, this is great. A lot of gold in here too, man. Alright, we're putting in work tonight, man. I don't think I need to really get off the horse, actually. Hey, you look so cool with the cape, man. Yeah. Oh, we're almost done with this area, with this plate. Oh, look at all these little ninjas, huh? Weapon rank increase, guys. There we go, man. Weapon uh, rank B. Remember, my attack was uh, 277. This is how the Sonata fights. Hello, Ega Ninja. Urgh. Yeah! Feel the power of the Sonata. So runaway ninja. What is, what is he like? He used to be an Iga ninja or something. Or? My guess is a Iga ninja is supposed to be higher rank than a high ranking ninja. I don't know. How, do, how do they even rank out here? Huh. High ranking ninja has been destroyed by Yukimura Sanada. Let's head our way back. I missed this one. Hey, Demon Crystal. I still haven't collected all of those. I missed something up here, I see. There, too? Good lord. Oh, hey, we got the finished Demon Crystal. That's going to be really good. I wonder what kind of stuff uh, Raifukuji has for me in town. Like to purchase now. Munonori Yagyu, we earned ourselves. Um, we still have to... Do we have to purchase Hanzo Hattori? Maybe at some point he's going to allow us to befriend him. I'm not quite sure. Rest in peace. Ripperino! Uh, what shall we do in here? Dude just chilling with a spear. Relaxing. Hey, secret. Hey, 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 this is new. Dude, we gotta murder this thing. What do we get? Oh man, we got a secret treasure, guys. Oh snap. I don't know if we got the one for this area before or not. Oh, this is gonna be great. Let's just leave, man. I don't care if I missed the item. I wanna... Okuni? Are you another one of those awful robbers? I had a feeling it was gonna be her. Then you'll make a great... You'll make a donation to my temple. 
I will make no such donation. You'll make a donation to my graveyard. That's very naughty of you to steal money from the weak like that. Bear witness to the pride of the Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. Let me grab our free items. And that is going to complete our quest. We should be able to befriend Okuni now, right? Actually, there's one more room to check, actually. The last room. This one here. Uh, oh, wait. There's actually in one more room. I see it. Let me get that kill, bro. I need to get an A-ranked weapon before this playthrough is completed. Another. You killed him, huh? Yeah, you did. Dude, this movement speed from that item is so good. I love it. Alright, no ninjas in this room. We're actually done. We will collect this and go home. That is it, my friends. End expiration. Let's see what kind of rare item we got there. We leveled up once. So our weapon, remember, our weapon was 277. We got something new. Fortitude and Impulse. Wow. Wow. I can replace my Fortitude with this. Gradually fill Muso. Wow. This is insane. Kojiro's Cheater Drop. This completely craps on the Fortitude level 6 I have. This is amazing. Holy snapperoonies. Everybody can use that item. Oh man, that is good. So we finished the demon crystals. We got to defeat a runaway ninja. So they've given us some meteoric iron, some spiders. And that ninja gave me spiders? That's such an odd gift. Would you like some spiders? What would I what could I do with those spiders actually? But anyway, let's go to town now. To Osaka and I want to turn in that quest and I also want to uh, before I go to battle I need to update everyone's items I don't I no longer need fortitude on uh, every character I have this new item which is a way better fortitude so let's go turn in this quest surprisingly Okuni is not at the uh, the friend place hey Sakubei you're still alive dude Lord Yukimura if it isn't Saku Bay, what are you doing here? I came as soon as I heard you were in Osaka. I'm still afraid of battle, but I want to do all I can to help you. Thank you. It is so heartening to have you here. Oh, awesome. Frightened man. I've returned your goods. You defeated her for us, so where's our money? What's that? The woman was only stealing from bandits and robbers. And you think I was the one who's actually stealing from the peasants? Oh, it's true, you're right. I confess. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't steal anymore. I'm really, really sorry, truly. Consider this my penance. Megatama. Wisteria. Orchids. That dude gave us a lot of juice there, man. Now, let me see. Uh, I don't think there's anything new with the blacksmith. But I want to just take a look. Right. Um, what I can do is upgrade my weapon. Wow, my attack. All right, so going up to rank B gave me five attack for free. Pretty cool. Let's, uh, yeah, upgrade weapon. We're going to put something new here. So attack speed is debatable. Death. Ooh, I like death. Might. I think, ah, oh, man, I think I want... Verity and Clarity is my last two abilities. I already have two elements on. Two, I think two elements is enough. I don't think you need a third. I like my range. I like my attack. And I like Fury. And Courage is great. I think I want Clarity and Verity. Uh, increased duration of Rage Mode. So... That, 
Now you increase the duration of rage mode, you can just do so much more damage, right? And then you increase the attack strength during rage mode, you're like, you're like doubling that, it just, there's a lot, it's a lot to do here. We're gonna do duration of rage mode, we're gonna grab clarity. And I'm going to up this to level 40, so it's equivalent to everything. Can I afford it? I can afford it, guys. Boom, and I am once again poor. Down to 2,000 bucks. <clears throat> but everything's level 40 or higher, so that's not too bad. Um, I do have items I could sell to the shop. I remember someone mentioned that in the comments. Hey, dude, sell all your stuff. And I just... Ooh, what is this? I actually don't have money. Oh, I have enough money to do it. <laughs> oh, his attack move can go up again? Whoa, what is this? Dude, they're, what? I thought it used to stop at, at a three. You got a five piece chicken. I thought his charge attacks only uh, went up to three. Now they go up to four. Holy snapper noonies. Wow. I don't have money. Hold on. Now I have to sell items. I gotta find a, I gotta find me a shopkeeper. Wealthy merchant. Hello. You're so wealthy. Oh man, you're a good friend. Let me just sell you some uh some stuff here. Let's see what I have. I have nine hundred iron ores. How about I sell you three hundred of those for twelve thousand? Man well, I don't need twelve thousand right now. I need like, I need like three thousand. I need twenty four hundred. Let's just sell sixty. I, I still have uh, eight hundred fifty more of those. Okay, let's go back to the training. I'm not gonna sell all my items right away. I just, I still kind of need, uh, you know. So that was enough. Twenty five hundred. Oh my god! I need three thousand. To do it again so look at that his new five piece chicken wing it just it just keeps going oh good lord uh, you know let's sell enough stuff and have like ten thousand bucks just in case there's another level after that so uh, let's sell some more uh what, what else do i have a lot of i have a lot of shiny silver ores so let's uh let's have ourselves ten thousand that's actually, that's fine. We could stop there. The 180 will uh, cover the rest. We're selling a lot of these, actually. That's, but I still have 700, so we're at 10,000. And, man, my math is on point right now, guys. You saw that? No, no calculator, dude. I'm just messing it. The math sucks. But we leveled up our attacks again. And what did it improve this time? Actually, I have no idea. Maybe that was finishing my uh, five-piece chicken wing there. We gotta try this out, dudes. We gotta try this out. Oh, wait. First, let me talk to uh, Moro Chica. He's still here. Or Mori Chica. Whoa. Oh, if it isn't Master Yugimura. Master Mori Chica, you've also come running in this time of need, I see. The only hope for the future of my clan lies in claiming victory in this battle. Master Morichika. I believe I'll write a short piece in the Chronicles. Alright. What is this? They were punished severely for their role in supporting the losing side. The Uesugi clan went from owning 1.2 million Koku and Aizu to just 300,000. And Yonezawa, while the Mori were forced to give up their 1.2 million Koku and were exiled to just under 300,000. And the, the uh, Chosokabe clan was also deprived of its status and forfeited its family territories. Hmm. Let me see. An exception was the Shimazu clan. They were allowed to retain its holdings. He wanna, Ieyasu wanted to avoid another battle by antagonizing the Shimazu clan, whose main force had remained home while only the troops led by Yoshihiro actually participated. 
So he's just like, the Shimazu are actually kind of scary. Let's not... Let's not do anything. The Tachibana clan was also demoted, but Ieyasu wished to employ the powerful Munishige Tachibana, so he later restored his status as a daimyo. He said that this was an attempt to prevent Munishige, who had become a ronin, from heading to Osaka. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Um... Matabe, you're you're here, Yukimura. Wow, you have eyes. How did you know? It has been too long. With you in our ranks, we have nothing to fear. Of course we don't. The number of the Tokugawa will mean nothing before the might of Matabe Goto, leader of the Osaka Ronin. Absolutely, I'll be counting on you, Katsunagamori. I have faith that you would come. Master Katsunaga, I likewise knew that you would be here. I finally get the chance to fight alongside you, Master Yukimura. For the Toyotomi clan, we must give our all. Yes. Yes. Lady Chacha, I'm back for you. Is she older? Chacha-sama, gobusata shite orimashita. Kita no desu ka, Yukimura? はい。お約束通り必ずチャチャ様をお守りいたします。約束など。は軍議が始まります。急ぎなさい。なんだよ、あれ。もうちょっと喜んでくれると思ったんですけどね。あれじゃまるで初めて会った頃の軍議に行ってまいるまずは機内を制圧しその上で正常する徳川の軍を迎え撃つべきと存ずるバカなわざわざ撃って出るというのかさよう関東と西国との連携を断ち徳川軍を足
they harbor resentment towards the Tokugawa if we could include them, uh, induce them to defect. I will not dismiss the probability outright, but in order to do so, we must first prove that we have a chance to claim victory. Mm. That is true. What Yukimura says is totally true. See, these clans, it's survival right now, dude. Even if they hate the Tokugawa, they're right now thinking 200,000 versus 100,000. This is going to be an easy battle. They're going to get slaughtered. Why join that? As much as I hate Ieyasu, why join the losing side? We're just going to die and lose even more territory. Let's just stay here and get on Ieyasu's good side. Hopefully he'll give us some more land for participating. I don't know. But if we show, if the Toyotomi army shows that we do have a chance at victory, they'll be like, wow. The, the army that I really want to be with has a chance of victory, and that chance will only increase if I join them. Let's do it. Screw Ieyasu. I'm sad. I'm sad here. Let's let's just uh, let's just get this going and join up with the the good guys. I mean, everyone has their own opinion on what the good guy is. Mm. But in their head, maybe they're the good guys. You know, in everyone's head, they think they're the good guy, except those. The, the, the uh, psychotic people, like the Joker, you know, it's, he doesn't think he's a good guy. He just likes chaos. <laughs> uh, the criticisms leveled by the Tokugawa at the Toyotomi are all petty and, and meaningless. They're not worthy of leading the land. They do not care how unworthy they appear. This is all part of the Master Ieyasu's singular devotion to his cause. He was willing to become the greatest villain in the land if it meant establishing a lasting foundation of peace. It was during his late middle age that Ieyasu made that resolution to himself. He defeated Mitsunari Ishida at the Battle of Sekigahara, and soon after he was named Shogun. Establishing his Shogunate in Edo, furthermore, in order to avoid the same fate Hideyoshi faced after de his death, he was determined to finish off the Toyotomi clan while he was still able to. I mean, it makes sense, you know? It, it makes sense. He doesn't want to pass away, and then it's like, oh, now's the time to fight, guys. It's Lady Kai, hey, aren't you with the son of the clan? Oh, well, why are you shaking your fist at me like that? She's so mad. Oh, おい、遅すぎる。あんた今まで何やってたの?面目がありません。何ばか言ってんの。雪村様のお立場を考えなさいよ。ここに来るのがどんだけ大変だったか。それはわかるけどさ。茶々様のお気持ちを考えると。茶
I'm glad to see that Lady Kai is with her. After the fall of the Hojo, she took in Cha-Cha and moved to Osaka. She took in Cha-Cha or Cha-Cha took her? I could have sworn Cha-Cha forced her to come here. Whatever. Uh, she took in Cha-Cha and moved to Osaka. Ooh, maybe she took in Cha-Cha. Actually, I don't know. I was going to say maybe she took her in after Hideyoshi died, but... They moved to Osaka. Whatever. Uh, Kai felt great sympathy towards Cha-Cha and her ability to remain strong despite her circumstances. So she vowed to do whatever it, it took to protect her. She told Yukimura what she wanted to say, and after getting that off her chest, was able to focus on doing her best for Chacha. Indeed, considered herself to be back and even better than before. So, I mean, you know, it is a game. There could be a typo here or something. She took in Chacha. You guys, if you can make that more clear for me, what, what they mean by she took in Chacha, I could have sworn Chacha forced Kai to, to serve her, but if you guys can uh, help me out in the comment section, I would appreciate it. But holding up in a castle, it is a redoubtable fortress, but we must think of some way to strengthen our defenses. We must work together to keep her safe. I swear we will! You know, what we need is, uh, we just need some machine guns on top of the fortress, you know. We need to do some, some Lord of the Rings stuff, you know. Let's, let's talk, uh, let's talk to the crew and see what, what they suggest. Indeed, this is why we shouldn't be letting a boy who knows nothing about battle tell us what to do. Master Matabe, you must watch your tongue, although I do agree that holding up in a castle is not the ideal strategy. While it is certainly true that Osaka is a magnificent structure, there will be no future for us if we simply try and hold the enemy out. But it's been decided, and there's nothing we can do. We must simply find a way to win. Perhaps we could develop a strategy with the best of both worlds. One where we hold up, yet also strike back ourselves. Mm. Hold up in a castle and at the same time venture forth. Yukimura, you have thought of a way? I know you can come up with some sort of strategy. Hmm, <laughs> it's in my blood. Masayuki's blood runs through my veins, of course I have a strategy. It won't be easy, but I'm hoping you can think of something too. And you're gonna... Yeah, 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 this is the same... Yeah. I, I don't know why I clicked on this dude. I guess it's because I saw the speech bubble. I was like, there's a chance! Hmm? What is it, Master Morichika? Yukimura, I was just thinking, if we are to hole up in a castle, we will need garrisons in the surrounding area, will we not? I was wondering, where would be a good place to build a new garrison? A new garrison? Yes, right now we do not have uh, we don't have enough to keep the enemy at bay. I think that we need to make it easier for us to fight by increasing their number. I see a new garrison. Hey, it makes sense to me, man. Think about it like empires. In empires, you can't go to the main camp directly. You have to defeat the little uh, garrisons, the little areas first, right, to work your way towards it. If we're just gonna hide at the main camp, the whole, the whole, imagine you're in empires and you just have one piece of land and the whole enemy is just rushing your base. It's a lot of fun playing in a game, but it's very difficult because they just, they don't even have to kill you. They just have to capture your base and the battle's over. Even though it's a lot of fun to do. I've done it in, San, in uh, Dynasty Warriors uh, 7 Empires. I think I have a video of that. Really old video back when I had like, 300 subscribers or something is really old but my channel was so small back then in those old videos man i don't even know how my channel got this far honestly it just kind of just happened <clears throat> but i do appreciate all the support you guys give me so thanks for that and hopefully we can keep it going right so let's talk to kunoichi uh what is it did something happen I have something you should know. I was scouting the area around Osaka and it's clear that the defenses to the south are too weak. Makotoka? Yes, a castle surrounded by rivers on three sides. But what are the plains to the south? It will be easy to attack from there. Thank you once again. You have come through for me at just the right moment. Oh, it's nothing. Besides, just because we know the south is our weakness, it's not like we can do anything about it. 
No, a proper understanding of one's weakness is vital. It allows us to put measures in place. Mm. Hmm, how to overcome our vulnerability to the south. The thing is, the best plan would be build some sort of garrison to the southern and fight the enemy from there. But no ordinary garrison will do. We need a lot of gunpowder. Alright. Sounds good. Sounds good. The thing is, think about it like this. Your weakness can also become your strength. Because, alright, I'll throw a scenario at you. The enemy know this is a weak area, so they're going to come through there. You're essentially... It's not that you're forcing their movement, but you know they're going to come through there. So you can really prepare for that with a crazy ambush. Maybe, I don't know, I mean, we don't have landmines <laughs> in this day and age. But you can you can design some stuff there. You know they're going to come that way. You can get some, some free kills by setting up traps. You know, just demoralize them a little bit. Slow them down because they're going to be like, oh, there's traps all around this area. We lost a bunch of troops. Uh, let's move slower. Let's take our time going through here in case there are more traps. It's mind games, you know? There's a, there's a lot of situations you can use with your weakness here. And also, you can really prepare. Like, what Yukimura wants to do is set up a garrison, a lot of gunpowder. We can shoot them up. Uh, that's also smart, too. The enemy are unaware of a garrison. They're going to show up and be like, where'd this come from? And then just start getting shot. There's a lot of uh, a lot of things that could work out here to their advantage. You just you have to take your weaknesses, take what you have, and do the best with it. And I think concentrating on your weakness is is vital to your survival here. Um, everything else of that is already strong, like a strong location. So in this situation, the south is our weakest place. That doesn't mean ignore the other places. You never know what the enemy's thinking. They could be thinking what you're thinking oh maybe they'll use the easiest route to their advantage and ambush us or something so let's come from their strongest point which seems foolish but they won't expect it you know you never really know in war things change on the spot all the time dude but uh that that's the whole thing in this day and age here it's these wars were a lot more strategic nowadays it's you know the enemy's positioning, you can drop a bomb, you can end that quickly, you can send in a convoy, handle that, helicopters. We, we've got a, a lot of technology now that makes warfare much easier, but also much more dangerous because it can hurt a larger, a larger area of people can get hurt. A lot more innocents can get hurt nowadays, um, even though in this day and age they were still executing women and children anyway. But that that is war though. That is just that is just war. So guys, I think I'm gonna leave it off here. Uh, next episode we'll head into the new mission. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll catch you next time when we I don't know what we're gonna do actually. I don't think this is the final battle. But it could quite possibly be the final multi battle because we're going at it with Ieyasu. I'm expecting like two or three secondary battles. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out uh, when it comes. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. See ya.